Ken Surfs here, and another shave video. Saturday afternoon, where are we at? 12 noon straight up. Oh man, what a week. But finally over, and uh, the weekend's here. Man, I, it's gonna be a movie weekend for me. I went out last night with my wife and we saw the Black Panther. Who would figure she would go to see a Marvel movie with me? But uh, good movie, she liked it, I liked it. Thumbs up, check it out. And tonight I'm going on a double date with her. And we're going to go see that, uh, is it 1715 from Paris? That Clint Eastwood movie about the uh, terrorists on the train. So uh, that ought to be good. So I'm going out with, we're going out with another couple. So I'm going to have a good shave today. And it's going to be a classic cologne shave today. This one is going to be one of my favorites that I remember the commercial. It was just imprinted in my head in the 80s. And this is Canoe by Dana. And this cologne believe it or not, it's almost like a history lesson you're going to get today, and I apologize, but uh, was created in 1936 by Dana in France. After World War II, British and American soldiers brought it back to the United States from France, and it became a hit and popular. And they really didn't change the formulation, I'm reading, could be wrong, until the 90s when it was no longer made in France. And I believe this bottle... I believe is made in Canada. I had to look at the bottom with a loop, an eye loop to kind of see. But they said the formulation hasn't really changed. And they says it's a classic, and I remember it, but it's a classic barbershop kind of powdery smell. Similar, they say, to Cody Stetson or Old Spice. And I've got my notes here. The uh, top notes, for those of you who are interested, are lavender, sage, and lemon. The heart notes are, uh, let's see, geranium, carnation, uh, cedarwood and patchouli, and the base notes are vanilla and heliotrope. So it's compared to kind of the Pinod Clubman. It's got definitely a barber scent, a uh, powdery scent. And I was torn on you doing this cologne review today or the gray flannel. And uh, my wife and daughter said, put one on one hand, one on the other. Let me smell it. And uh, both of them unanimously said canoe. And they smelled it in the bottle. Oh, terrible. But when they're on you. So you can't go wrong with canoe. Another vintage item I'm going to use today. Because of the Olympics, I'm going to say. And this is an N2 Gillette Atra Plus. And the Atra Plus blades. And they come from, it's an N2, so I believe it's 1993. Introducing an incredible advance in Gillette shaving smoothness. New Atra Plus. The Plus is this unique white strip that releases lubricants as you shave. You never felt anything smoother. New Atra Plus by Gillette, the essence of shaving. Support the Olympics. Olympics are going on right now. So I'm going to be doing, and I believe this bottle is from the early 90s too. So it's going to be like a 90s shave today. But again, that cologne went back to the 30s. Here is the commercial for Canoe that was just imprinted in my head in the 80s and it was kind of a catchy thing, but here you go. The canoe message, it's spelled C, come on over, A, alone, N, now, O, okay, E, etc., etc. Canoe, the man's cologne from Dana, wear it, she'll get the message. Oh. C-A-N-O-E. Canoe, canoe. Now, the Atra Plus razor, uh, you know, the Gillette Atra came out in the 80s, and then they improved it by adding that little lubrication strip. And I thought this razor was kind of cool. Look at that. That was kind of new in package. Still has the original blades in it. In fact, I'm going to be using one of them. And it... The handle is just really cool compared to the usual Gillette Atra razor. I hadn't seen one of these, and when there's something unique, and it was in the package, an estate find, I bought it off eBay, have to give it a shot. The shaving cream I'm going to use today is from Sterling, and it is Black Cherry. And I haven't tried this yet. Came to me, oh, it's definitely Black Cherry. Came to me highly recommended by my friend Mark. So I'm going to be using that today. I've got my soaking in the crystal skull right now. Got my Yaki Badger brush. 
And this comes from Yaki Brushes and a really nice brush. It hasn't, I haven't used this often enough to get rid of the shedding yet. You know, when you use a new Badger brush, they always shed a little bit and that hasn't happened yet. So I do think I'm ready to get this shave started. I'll be right back. All right. Badger holds a lot of water. So, whoop, there goes that automatic air freshener. Someone said, hey man, that's gonna take away the scent. Oh, and uh, since I'm I learned something, I didn't know that pomade can go south on you. I had some pomade that my wife got me. Yeah, where is it? Uh, she dumped it. Uh, Vita, I don't know what it was called, but uh, it went south on me, I put it on. What a stink, it smelled like, ugh, like horse whiz. It was terrible, I had to take another shower. So today I'm using my premium blend Suavecito. Here you go, man, a free plug. They're local, they're down in Santa Ana. Their Suavecito is what they're famous for. Their uh, pomade, I mean, is what they're famous for, but they also do uh, shaving stuff too. So real nice store, big store. Got some cool, cool items. And if I'm going into a, a shaving store or a barber store and they have a cool t-shirt, man, I gotta, I gotta get one. I hope West Coast Shaving and some of those other stores out there Razor Rock, Italian Barber, Rockwell. Come on, all, the, all you guys. Have some cool shirts, man. It's free advertising. We'll wear them. All right. Oh, Black Cherry. Don't know if you can hear that out there. That's silence. Wife and daughter are uh, out shopping. Sons it. On a date, I guess whale watching. Got the house to myself for a few minutes. What a great opportunity to do a shave. And I absolutely had to do some research on that canoe, but that commercial, man, I just remember that vividly. All right. And some of you are asking, they're saying, hey man, you're wet shaving, but you're using a cartridge razor every once in a while. And there are, uh, don't hold it against them, but there's a lot of people who can't use a DE blade. Their skin is too sensitive. My father-in-law is one of them. He's got a, I think I've mentioned in the past, he's got a vintage uh, gold-plated, what is it, aristocrat. And he used it just in, all the time, but he started cutting himself. So he uses the vintage Gillette Track 2 now. And I know my friend out there, Stephen Davidson, He's a, a wet shaver, and, but he had a, he kept cutting himself too. Uh, you know, your skin can be very sensitive. A lot of people use cartridge razors to shave their heads. So if you're gonna use one, man, why not use vintage, right? Maybe a little harder to find than uh, something off the shelf. But I know Persona on Amazon, it, I remember I said it was quiet. Uh, mailman's here. Persona on Amazon and eBay, they make cartridge replacements for Gillette that are very good. And I've tried some from China. And that Yaki brush comes from China and it works quite well. But there's some blades from China that, oof, they cut me really good. The other night I used, last night, I used the uh, Parker variant on setting three. <laughs> Should have seen the weepers I had. Holy crap. I will not do that again. I'm going to use that razor it's going to be on one or two one and a half i notice a lot of you had commented the same thing all right 
dual blade razor, you don't really need to do a two pass. You know that. It gets 99% of it in the first pass. But uh, man, it'll give you a BBS shave if you do. And the three pass is just definitely overkill with a cartridge razor. Especially if you're using a Fusion 5 blade or 7 blade razor. Man, this sterling is thick. Absolutely thick. Man, brr, caffeinated today. Only had three cups. No food yet. No weepers yet. You can usually see the red coming through, but man, last night was... I didn't know. I shaved with that Parker variant. Felt great. Didn't see a thing. When I was heading out to the movies, my wife thought I'd been attacked by a vampire. All over. And I might open up something now. But hopefully no. Pow. One of you guys was tipping me on using some Humphreys as a pre-shave. So that gave you really good results. Low power. We'll close that. We're still auto-exposing there. It's freaking amazing I did not get any on the shirt. I'm not wearing this shirt tonight, but... For the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to take that dog out. That's why he's waiting outside there. He wants to go for a run. All right. C, come on over. A, alone. N, now. O, okay. E, etc., etc. Very, very pleasant. And, you know, they make it today. But somebody said the latest batch is made in China. I, I can't verify that because you can get it on Amazon, Walmart. Uh, but you don't really have to look very hard to find some of the older stuff, you know, 10 years old, uh, five years old, and it's still holding that scent good. And I tell you, it has a strong alcohol content. Wow. Wow. Whew. It's going to make my eyes water. That's a burn. Wow. It's the 80s and 90s again. All right. I will get to my modern stuff. Actually, you've seen, I've, you know, Sterling's a modern uh, soap and Yaki brushes. That's a modern brush. So I mix it up a little bit, but damn, that's pretty good stuff. So you guys remember Canoe? Any stories? I love hearing the stories. Man, I used I used to go out to the uh, clubs and wear canoe, or I used to go out to here and wear British Sterling, or I used to go here and I was in college and I remembered. So, and it's reasonable. I mean, that bottle ship was 10 bucks and it's old. I could get like a nice new one in the box, which I, like, I've been getting British Sterling in the box. I've got two of them. Because one of them is, uh, the older stuff by, this is by Mem, and the other one, I forget what it was by, but uh, you can still get them. Real reasonable, shipped. I thank God for the internet, right? Everybody, have a great weekend. It's only Saturday. Monday is Washington's birthday or President's Day. No work for me. An extra day off. I give you permission to take a day off, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Thanks for watching, and thank you very much for your subscriptions. Bye for now.